Many factors support a drama to be popular among the audience. Starting from the factor of the director, scriptwriter, storyline to the list of players. However, all of that popular factor does not guarantee that a drama will be what we expect. It is not infrequently the drama is downright disappointing and not nearly as epic as the promo, and in this video, I have collected some popular Korean dramas that didn't suit my cup of tea. Who didn't know this drama? It's okay to not be okay is Korean drama with beautiful cinematography, good acting, and nice soundtrack. This drama had become one of the dramas that many people liked in 2020 and received various awards in South Korea. It's okay to not be okay was even nominated for the 49th International Emmy Awards. It tells the story of how the two main characters, Ko Moon Young, played by So Yi Ji, and Moon Kang Tae recover from the emotions as well as psychological issues experienced. The drama was really good at the beginning and deserved all the praise it deserved at first. I loved the first 9 episodes, but I struggled a lot with the 10th episodes and then lost the interest, the story is not something that unique. The predictable twists, childhood and parent relationships, jealousy and love triangles, characters trying to act cool and make the other party jealous. The plot was rather disingenuous as it had the supreme potential to break much needed ground. This actually makes the protagonists look like they are weak and lack an evolved sense of self-centeredness, which is far from the mental health truth. The romantic comedy drama, Crash Landing on You tells the story of Yoon Se-ri who is the heir to a rich family in South Korea. In a paragliding incident, Yoon Se-ri accidentally landed in North Korea due to strong winds. Meanwhile, a North Korean officer, Ri Yoon Hyuk tries to save and protect Yoon Se-ri so she can return to South Korea. Thanks to this incident, Yoon Hyuk fell in love with Yoon Se-ri. Crash Landing on You is a good drama with unique, but not that unique. It did miss logic at times in few scenes, and you may watch for the main leads but you'll end up tuning on the other side stories as well. Each character had was appreciable. None of the characters were left halfway, it can make you both laugh until your stomach hurts and cry your eyes out. However, I found this drama is a bit boring. Rather than saying this drama is overhyped, I can say it was not my cup of tea. Released in 2016 through the MBC channel, Weightlifting Fairy Kim Bok Ju is a romantic genre series based on the true story of an Olympic gold medalist weightlifter, Jang Mi Ran. It tells the story of the daily lives and struggles of students at Haneul Sports University to become professional athletes. The two main characters are Kim Bok Ju, played by Lee Sung Kyung, a female weightlifter, and Yoon Jun Hyung is a swimmer. The two are childhood friends long separated, who are reunited at the same university, become friends, and then fall in love with each other. Actually, this drama has a simple theme with the process of coming of age and the various turmoils experienced by college students in their early 20s. However, I truly fail to see its purpose. The entire plot was based on immature and silly misunderstandings and dramatic twists that didn't fit. It was as if the writer didn't know how to create challenges naturally, so they resorted to making up far-fetched dramatic build-up for the characters to get tangled in. Startup is one of the most popular Korean dramas in 2020. It was almost on all social media such as Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. It tells the story of the lives of several young people with their own life problems. Startup focuses on the story of Nam Do San who struggled to build his dream company, Samsung Tech. Nam Do San has his ups and downs in managing his company. On the other hand, So Dalmi chooses to leave university and looks for money to open a business. The dream of becoming the Steve Jobs of Korea is on So Dalmi's mind. I started Startup as soon as it aired because of Sian Ho, Suzy, Ju Hyuk and Kong Hana. The cast made me excited to watch this drama. 
The cinematography and storyline was enticing. It had great potential to be a good drama from its opening episode, but it goes downhill and just ended up dragging Love Triangle all the way with no character development. With many plot holes and confusing, Startup has many aspects that not properly addressed. True Beauty is adapted from the famous web comic series of the same title, Yeo Shingangrim, by Yonggi which was published on April 2, 2018 by Naver Webtoon Company. This drama tells the story of a beautiful and intelligent high school student, she is I'm Ju Jiao. She always looks charming in the eyes of others. Because of that, Im Ju Jiaon always hides her real face behind the makeup she wears, she didn't want other people to see her without makeup on. Im Ju Jiaon learned everything self-taught through online viewing and is now an expert when it comes to makeup. With her abilities, Im Ju Jiaon becomes a popular student at her school. Her friends think she is a very beautiful woman, Im Ju Jiaon is involved with two men Lee Su Ho and Han Su Jun. If you already watched my previous video, True Beauty is on my toxic drama list and that's one of the reason why I think this drama is overhyped. I had to force myself to finish all the episode, True Beauty is really a cliche high school romance story with the cringy plot and the love triangle drags on for too long. The message of True Beauty was not strong enough. Even the side characters are actual more interesting than the female lead. That's all for today video and which drama just that you think is overhype. Leave your comment below and give me like and subscribe to grow my channel. See you in my next video and have a great day.